Hello everybody, Hannes here from Arduino. Today I'll show you how to create messages, simple animations, or even little games on the LED matrix of the UNO R4 Wi-Fi. For this tutorial, you will need an Arduino UNO R4 Wi-Fi, the latest version of the Arduino IDE, and the Arduino LED matrix library. I'll walk you through initializing the matrix, writing and rendering frames, running animations, and using tools to create your own designs. There's no wiring needed. The matrix is built into the board. To get started, include the matrix library in your sketch and create an object instance like so. Inside the setup, start the matrix by calling matrix.begin. The LED matrix works by displaying one frame at a time. A frame is simply an image shown on the matrix. If you want animations, you'll use multiple frames in sequence. You can define a frame in two ways. First, using a two-day array of bytes which is easy to read and modify. You can see each line in the code represents the same line on the LED matrix. This format is great for visualizing shapes. The one value represents LEDs that are on and zeros the one that are off. You can preview your design by searching for one in your code editor. To change a specific pixel, access it directly by calling a frame in the column and the row you want. Then, simply upload your code using the Upload button in the IDE, and once that's done, you should see a heart being displayed on your LED matrix. For a more compact version, use an array of 32-bit integers, which stores all 96 LED bits efficiently. Each unassigned 32-bit integer holds 32 bits, and since the matrix has 96 pixels, three of these integers will be enough. If you want to better understand the bit pattern, take a look at the documentation at docs.arduino.cc or click the link below. You can then go ahead and simply add more frames, like in this case the happy frame, and then inside the loop, load the frame, calling each exact frame you want with a short delay, and then simply upload the code again and you have your very own animation. You are now switching between a heart and a smiley face on your LED matrix. If you're new to this, I know it's a little bit hard to understand at first, but don't worry, we have lots of pre-made frames built into the LED matrix library. And if you want to create your very own unique frame, we have a detailed explanation on how to turn the two-day array, which was the first version I showed you, into the more compact version on our documentation platform. Now let's take a look at scrolling text. For this, we will use the Arduino graphics library. One thing that's really important is that you include the Arduino graphics library before the Arduino lib matrix library. Otherwise, it won't work. Initialize the matrix as before by creating the object instance and calling the matrix.begin function. Then we need to add some configuration for the Arduino graphics library. We'll tell the program that we want to draw something on the matrix. We tell it what kind of stroke we want to use, what text to display, which font to use, and where to start printing. And then we go ahead and print the text defined above. And finally, we end all of our configuration using matrix and text and end draw. If we upload this code, we will see the word UNO being printed on the LED matrix. As you might remember, we wrote UNO R4 in the code, but longer text will be cut off if it extends the length of the matrix. If we want to read the full length of the text that we made, make it scrollable. For that, we need to add two things. At what speed should it be scrolling? and which direction it should be scrolling to. If you want to scroll it more than once, simply move everything to the loop, but keep the matrix.begin in the setup. We only need to call it once. To make the scrolling animation look smoother, I recommend adding some spaces before and after the text. The final thing I want to show you is how you can draw anything you want on the LED matrix without needing to upload a new sketch for every change you make. We have developed a tool that is used to generate frames and animations to be rendered on the LED matrix in your browser. This tool is part of Arduino Labs and is therefore considered experimental software. To use the tool, you need to upload the following sketch, allowing the board to read serial inputs sent by the browser. You can find the sketch if you go to Files, Examples, LED matrix and Live Preview. Once you have uploaded the sketch, you need to open the LED matrix editor, which is linked in the documentation or in the video description. Make sure to use Chrome as it supports serial connections. 
confirm that you have uploaded the sketch and select the board from the list of serial devices. Now you can draw any shape you want, remove them with the eraser or add more frames to create your own animations. Once you're happy, you have the option to save them as a C file. That way you can include them in your library as I showed you earlier. You can also save the entire project and import it at a later time or to another computer. Alright guys, this is all I have to show you. I hope you learned something. I hope I've given you the tools to enhance your creativity and take your projects to the next level. If you have any questions or any feedback, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.